Hi, I'm Penny, and I'm so happy that you've decided to join me on this journey into procedurally generated blocky environments. If you're watching this, I'm pretty sure that you already know just how clever the programming behind Minecraft is. Otherwise, you're sitting in Unity making generic cube environments, am I right? Computer graphics has been a passion of mine for many, many years. I remember my honours year at university spent building fractal trees and ferns back in, uh, well, it's not important when that was, but what is important is that computer graphics is a really exciting and fascinating area in computer science. And it's not just because it's visually beautiful, but it's also using mathematics to manipulate how the computer works and what the computer produces. Now, don't get too worried or hung up on the mathematics. If you know your left from your right, your front from your back, your top from your bottom, and you can add two numbers together, then we're going to get on just fine. Now, I'm sure you're eager to know what you're about to learn. Well, by the end of this course, you will have an infinite world made of blocks that you can dig and build to your heart's content. But before we get there, you have to learn a lot of ins and outs of voxels, meshes, noise algorithms, and much, much more. This course is structured so that you can follow along with the code and project building as I go. Whenever code is changed, you'll find final versions for that particular lecture attached as a resource. Also, I saw a great quote the other day and it said, if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter how fast it doesn't work. And this is kind of my coding philosophy. I'm hellbent on showing you how I think and translating this into code that makes sense. I want to explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I'm not going to give you the whole final version of the code and then just start talking about it. That's not going to make any sense to you. So we're going to start and build this project little by little and add bits of functionality that work for these conditions and that condition and then put them together. And so the project will get bigger and bigger and you will intimately know each part of that project. One final thing before you jump in and get started. During my development of this course, I accidentally generated some pretty wacky looking landscapes. If this happens to you, and I guarantee that it will, please share because I'd love to see your work. Best of luck.